Hello guys and welcome back to lead logics. This is the maximum score from removing substring problem from lead code and the number for this is 1717. So in the given problem, we are having a string s and we are given with two integers x and y. So we can perform two types of operation any number of times. So in the string s, we can remove the substring ab and gain x points. For example, we remove ab from this and it becomes the, the new substring becomes this part and we can also remove BA and gain Y points suppose we remove BA from C A B X B A E it becomes C A B X E so BA is removed so new substring is this so we have to return the maximum points we can gain after applying the above operations on S so we need to consider a point x for removing ab and y for removing ba from the strings and the optimal strategy will be to prioritize the substring that yields higher points so whichever uh, will be higher in x and y that operation we will be going to perform first and then for the rest of the remaining a b a and b letters we can perform the the operations with the lesser points so let's see through an example how we are going to solve the problem so let's suppose we take this example the string cd bc bb aaa bab where x equal to 4 and y equal to 5 so here if you see since x e, x is more x is less than y that means removing BA gains higher points than removing AB so in this we will be prioritizing removing BA over AB so let's see so first of all we are going to keep uh, two counters A count and B count that will be used to keep the track of the A's and B's uh, while iterating through the string but there is a constraint that if an, any another character occurs other than A and B so this a count and b count will be set to 0 and then so we are actually counting the consecutive numbers of a and b's in the substring <coughs> using the a count and the b count and we have a result uh, variable to store the results so we are also going to see uh, how how we are going to approach the problem so since we have seen that y is greater than x so we will be prioritizing removing BA over AB so this is the string we will be go going on we will iterate the string increase, increase the A count and the B count and when, as soon as we reach a state where B count is greater than 0 and A count is also greater than 0 then and Y is greater than X so in this case we will be removing BA from the string and adding the points gain in the total that is the results so in the first step we remove ba from here you can see we removed the ba from here so we have gained five points in the next step we removed ab we removed ab from the last gain four points added into the total then the next step we remove this ba gain five points and the last we remove this b a k and another 5 points and the total becomes 19 in this case same thing is written in the steps how we are going to remove so now let's come to the coding section or the approach how we are going to approach the problem or how we are going to write the code but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so as I told you we'll be requiring some variables such as int a count a count equal to 0 we'll be taking a b count as well set to 0 as well and here we are going to take a variable lesser which will store whichever is less in between x and y now I have said to maximize uh, prioritize the operation with 
the maximum points why I am taking this lesser. So this lesser variable is actually for the leftover a and b's like whenever we are uh, getting a uh, character other than a and b so we'll be performing the operations which are uh, for for the rest of the a's and b's we will be performing the operation which is giving the less number of points because uh, we have already prioritized the more points operation so the whatever will be left is the lesser operation points so that's why we are taking a lesser for that and we need a result variable as well initially store zero because we are having zero points then we have to iterate the string so i is equal to zero i is less than s dot length i plus plus take a character s dot cat caract i take a current character now if this c is not a and is neither a nor b so in this case it will we can write it like it is greater than greater than b so in this case what will we do we'll be taking of the result we'll add into the result whichever is ma minimum in the a count and the b count take a, a count take the b count whichever is minimum and multiply it with the lesser now as i told you we have taken the lesser to perform for the leftover a's and b's so whenever we encounter a variable uh, a character other than a and b we will be taking the minimum of a and b to remove the sets of a b and we will multiply with the lesser number of uh, lesser points operations but there was one more step when we get a very uh, when we get a character other than a and b what was that reset a count and b count so a count equal to 0 b count equal to 0 and the else part else if when we get c equal equal to a so if we get a and if we have y greater than b so if we have y greater than b and we also have a b count b count greater than 0 so that means when y is greater than x we have to prioritize b a and since b count is already greater than 0 and we encounter a, a that means we got an b a so since we are prioritizing b a in this case we can remove the b a from here and and do a b count minus minus and result plus equal to y so result plus equal to y we have performed the operation otherwise we do a a count plus plus this we do in case when we do not have a b count or x is greater than y so in that case we do simply a a count plus plus now similarly we have to write for b as well so we need not specify else if c equal to b we can write directly write like this now here the conditions will change now here we will check if x is greater than y and and a count is greater than 0 so we do a count minus minus the logic is same the where when x is greater than y we'll prioritize removing a b and we see that we already have a, a ahead of b and the current element is b that means the there is a a b which can be removed so we do a a count minus minus result plus equal to x and in the else part we can do a b count plus plus
and then finally we can add in the result we can return the result but before that we have to perform the leftover operations for the last set of A's, A and B's so this is, will take minimum of A count B count multiply it with lesser and then simply return result so let's try to run it for the sample test cases so let's try to run it for the sample test cases it passes the sample test cases let's try to run for the hidden test cases this is the java code stay tuned for the c++ python and the javascript solution as well so you can see this passes with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity so the time complexity for this solution is actually o of n where n is the length of the string and since we do a single pass in the string so the time complexity is o of n and the space complexity is o of 1 because we are only using few variables and not any other space so that's it and you can also find the my solution from the solutions panel in the lead code by going here solutions then checking this solution this is my solution here you can find the intuition the approach the complexity step by step explanation the java code java code which i have explained here c++ code for the same logic python code javascript code and yes do remember to upload the solution as well and do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so thank you for watching the video have a nice day